Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name's Wendy Wing. I'm doing a daily psychic tarot reading for you, tuning into the day's energy, seeing what divine messages of guidance come through. Hope this reading finds you well. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so grateful for all of you who tune in and enjoy these readings. It's so nice to co-create these with you. All right. In the past, we have the magician. It looks like you were consciously wanting to create your future, wanting to create something for yourself. What is this? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about the magician? It looks like there's some drama around you. Maybe it's competition uh, around what what should be created. Feels like you were wanting to. Gosh, there's. It's like you consciously created something and it created a lot of drama, competition, and and like playing someone, playing games, someone playing games. And you were ending that cycle. It, you're consciously creating an end to competition, um, chaos energy. It's like, I, I don't want to be around drama or trauma, and I don't want to be played. I don't, I don't, I don't want to play these reindeer games anymore. It looks like you were consciously ending that type of behavior within yourself and around you. Alrighty then. In present energy, we have the Four of Cups in reverse. Someone who you rejected, an offer that at some point you rejected, that you didn't accept, and now you're accepting. <clears throat> Now you're seeing it differently or it's, the timing is better. The timing is right. Something about this. There's someone who's deceptive. There's someone who's mentally manipulative in this energy. Oh, this doesn't have a good, uh, especially starting in the past with here just not wanting to deal with drama and players and then we have someone it feels like you're accepting an offer from someone there's someone in this energy who's deceptive who's lying and about some type of bullying some type of Uh, okay, that's a very, someone was trying to make you their bitch. <laughs> that's what I heard. <laughs> Jeez. That paints a picture with lies. And uh, something about this is it's being seen or it's coming to an end, some type of bullying. It looks like this bullying kept you out in the cold feeling isolated, feeling alone, feeling, I feel like we're talking about the past. Whoever this is, they, they did a lot in the past. It's like they, their words, their lies really painted you into isolation. Like they, they told lies about you. And it, it's like they kept, 
their lies kept you isolated and kept someone from coming towards you. But now that that person's coming towards you, um, with it feels like they're coming upright with an open heart. Maybe apology. They definitely they don't want any more drama. They want to resolve uh, some type of painful situation in the past. They also, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> boy, my throat chakra. There's a lot of communication that's getting cleared up. And it's uh, a lot of a lot of communication. This person who's coming towards you in a loving way, either they want to talk about whoever this is that was lying, painting a picture to keep you isolated, and or they've also dealt with this person and gotten hurt and been betrayed and so it's kind of like you have this commonality between you there's something really wonderful about the two of you about whoever this is that's very loving there's some type of soul connection here and it creates a lot of joy to be around this person um, there's a lot that's wanting to come out about this connection. Um, it looks joyful. It looks fun. It looks effortless. At least as I'm looking at it in this swatch of energy. All right. So moving on to messages from your higher self is three of pentacles in reverse. something it's something about so this does kind of create like a third party scenario there's someone you're accepting feels like who you're maybe someone you rejected in the past you're accepting their uh, loving cup feels like you both were in connection with someone who is very manipulative might have been a feminine energy very manipulative a bully they kept you with their lies it's like kept you isolated and separated um, so something's coming apart or we're something's come not working it's not working anymore and there's there are other options Something's coming apart, a partnership, a group of, a group. It's coming apart. It's not working. There are other options. There are other options and there's someone who wants to be very generous, very giving. Feels like, um... They're coming out of a grieving. Yeah, it feels like they've been through a very painful cycle. They're coming out of grieving and they want to be very generous. They might be coming out of this connection and they see you as an option. That is a way to read this as well. They see you as an option and they see you as generous. Very, and as someone who can help them heal their grieving heart. Kind of puts you in the spot of indecision, like, um, I don't know what to do. I'm confused about this. Feels like you have a lot to think about. Yeah, you're gonna take some time. And think about this, or, f or not just think about it. It feels like um, I want to. I want to process 
what I've what I've just learned. Feels like you're gonna you're gonna take take a minute. Get right with you. There's something really um, beautiful about that. Having all this information come in, realizing that you're not in a place where that you can make a decision. So I'm I'm going to yeah, I'm gonna sit with this. I'm gonna process this. Not overthink it. It feels like you you really really analyzing this like is this um is this worth worth my time is this an investment is this a connection i want to invest in your difficulty your challenge right now is d death and rebirth in reverse not transforming this something you're, you're having difficulty transforming something you're having difficulty repeating a cycle what what is this what do we need to know what do we need to know right now there we go you're having difficulty transforming a cycle of depending on others for soul fulfillment it's like uh, trying to step over nine of cups, personal soul fulfillment, and just getting right to ten of cups. I, I, I need others to fulfill me in loving ways. I've never learned how to hold my own energy, to love myself, and so I seek others to validate and prove my worthiness, my love, my care, to make me feel okay. You're having difficulty ending that cycle, needing others to love you so you feel loved instead of finding your own personal soul fulfillment, loving yourself. It looks like that's creating a lot of um, unwanted karma because it looks like trying to control others, projecting on others, needing others, courting others. It's not allowing others the freedom of choice. It's, I need you to make me feel okay about me. So it's, it's using others. It's not, it, it's very complex. It's not energetically on the up and up because it comes with a lot of courting, needing, attaching, controlling, using fear. I need you to be someone for me instead of I'm just letting you show up as yourself and who you are. I'm needing you to be something for me that I don't know how to be for myself. And I'm getting that this is affecting, you're, you're attracting to you then people who are not loyal and not lasting. You're attracting other karmic energies. All right. Wow. All right. Messages. No, this is what's hidden. What's hidden is the wheel, is some karma. That's the second time the karma in re the wheel in reverse has shown up. So it does look like you're receiving unwanted karma. What I like about this is that whenever I see that I'm receiving karma, I see this as a lesson. I have an opportunity to transmute this, to transform this. This is teaching me that something that I've done in the past, some type of energy, some way, some thoughts that I was creating, some words, some actions, intentions are coming back 
And now I have the opportunity to decide if I want to continue in this type of behavior. If I don't like what I'm receiving, then I it helps me make choices. It helps me get out of a stuck mindset. I'm really seeing like appreciating this negative karma. Like calling it negative uh, by appreciating it, it's making it a lot easier. I'm going to clear a mindset that's been keeping me really stuck. I'm clearing a mother wound where uh, needy, dependent, lacks fertility, not nurturing, neglectful. This is... Um, Someone who uses their sexuality to um, entice others, to attach others. Someone who, who controls, like controls the narrative. You have, what's hidden is you're, you're clearing so much of this. Oh, wow. You're clearing so much of this karma which is allowing someone who is loving to come in. Someone, so either this person is going to give you the, wow, wow. A loving, like a tangible offer and start moving forward. And or there's already, this is a, uh, another time that I'm getting, you are meeting someone very loving, a match. And either they're going to give you a tangible opportunity, like, let's do this. Let's, let's take something forward. Or you are also getting a, a new opportunity that you're going to move forward on. There's something very tangent uh, about love and your your finances. They're both turning, so that's why I'm not why I love seeing karma in reverse. That any card, I'm not feeling so much resistance to the message and what's coming because. Um, after you clear this karma, there's so much wonderful things that come through from a new mindset. Allows you to invite in all this wonderful new energy. All right. So your opportunity is the two of swords in reverse. Getting out of confusion having that clarity. I'm, I'm not confused anymore. I can see what the issue was. And so now I'm, I'm, I'm taking it. Um, I, I've got clarity. I'm not stuck. It looks like you get clarity around um, toxic behaviors, maybe gossiping, third party energies. That's where we were in the present energy. Someone who uh, did all they could to keep someone away from you by telling a lot of lies and they bullied you and kept you separated. Feels like this person has also dealt with, I feel like pain from this person or something similar. Yeah, so the opportunity is some type of truth, some type of clarity around gossip, around toxic toxic behavior, around lies and deception and trying to uh, project confusion onto someone else trying to get someone from not coming towards you uh, 
it looks like that burden is released. This person did a lot. It feels very faded and destined. So um, this person was trying to manipulate fate and destiny for their own good. Maybe you've done that in the past unknowingly. And so this is a good lesson to, um, you know, someone you might have had a, a painful lesson with painful experience with and you've decided I no longer want to connect with that person I've learned all I'm going to learn from them I'm no longer but I'm not going to tell everyone about this experience and because that's that's you and that person doesn't necessarily mean that that person behaves that way with everyone else that was your lesson to learn You, you miss learning the lesson if you, you need to be project blame and trying to vengefully ruin someone. So it looks like a lot of burdens are being released. It looks like an exhaustion, a period of time of just being like feeling like you have to do it all yourself too. God, I feel like I'm going to cry. Um, like you've been doing all of this by yourself and someone showing up and they're helping you release your burdens. I'm all choked up. It just, it feels so nice to not feel so alone. Wow. Holy cow. Whew beautiful all right your possible outcome is the queen of pentacles in reverse this is someone who's not abundant someone who's not nurturing not caring um they don't they feel insecure they feel uh, very worried very unstable there's a there there's an imbalance they might be indulging overindulging they're not connected with source that's just the worst uh yeah this person feels like they're they're having a really difficult time there's a, a lack of stability a lack of foundation this person doesn't um, there's just a real worry here, the real anxiety. Uh, these are some core issues this person is working through. It feels like the third party in this. This energy has come up a couple times. What's the possible outcome? What do we need to know? It looks like people are, or it may be this person is starting to see how, um, how they're breaking their own heart by hurting others. They didn't get what they wanted. They did a lot for a long time. They used to get what they wanted. That's what's so confusing, but they're not getting it anymore because the energies have changed. The, their, inner, their actions are out of balance, not in connection with source. They're creating their own instability. They're creating their own heartbreak. They tried to keep someone away from you and it didn't work. Now they're unable to, it feels like what they, they tried to create something for you, a trap, so you're unbalanced, so you're disconnected, so you're left out in the cold and heartbroken and you have no foundation 
that you don't have stability, that nobody goes towards you. And so whatever they tried to create for you, they're receiving that karma. It's my hope that they, they learn their lessons from karma. I know when I receive karmic lessons, um, it's tough. It's tough. It's tough to not fall back into victim mode. And it's tough when you see someone receiving karma to not be mm -hmm. like vengeance. And instead, it's like, I, I just, I hope all of us can receive our karma with grace and compassion and receive the clarity from it. Yeah, something that was hidden is coming to view. I feel like a lot has been hidden. It's about to be really um, brought, up, brought to light. And it looks like it really helps you move forward. You're feeling stronger feels like you you move on from this these lessons and leave it behind like you're not worried about um it does, it's interesting you're not i feel like you start learning in the 3d about what this person has done and said i feel like you you understand that that's been going on but to the level it feels like you're really seeing what's happening and there's a realization um healthy boundaries against someone who's trying to ruin you trying to actively keep people away from you but um i feel like you're not going to you're not gonna You've, you've learned from your karma and you're no longer in this mindset of separation and this person's bad and I'm good. Just this person is in lesson. Yeah, there's a real grace that you, you're having and I feel like that grace is why you're able to accept a loving offer because you're not vengeful you're happy you're joyful you're feeling relieved wow 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 all right that's your reading i hope this was helpful take care bye